Okay, so I installed the carburetor and I cranked it uh, a few times without the key on so it could fill up the reservoir with gas. Now I'm going to put the key, turn on the switch, and see if it wants to start. Alright, let's see what happens. I'm going to shoot it with a little quick start, see what happens. Now the the uh, fuel regulator, it's under the hatch, I don't want to open up the whole thing. And uh, it's at one, I think. Let's see what happens. If it starts, then I can crank it up. All right, let's give it a little shot. Okay, just on the on the on the first shot and it started. That's a very good sign. Uh, these are very good carburetors. All right, let me reach in here see if I can get it. Yeah, bring it to. I don't know if you can see it. It's in there. Where's the arrow? That's a four. Okay, right there is at uh, it's at three. Let's see. All right, let me give it another shot. This thing is bubbling, bubbling, it's coming up here. Why? Everything is tight. Okay, let me bring down the. Uh, start but could it be that the engine is pushing back pressure somehow hmm that's a new one on me can we open up here a little bit that's normal that comes out of here it doesn't come through here it comes through this side all right let's see well I don't know what's going on this thing just backfired and and, and gave me a uh, fireball can't understand it it's got fuel carburetor is good and it's backfiring for some reason the timing is good. The engine ran before with the other carburetor. Um, I'm getting scared of this. This thing just gave me a, a ball of fire coming up. That's not good. 
I don't know what else I could do. I mean, I don't want to force it or anything, but uh, it won't start. The um, everything is. It's, I adjusted the, the the flap here. This is a gave it a little gas. Okay, so I called the mechanic because he's going to see if he can come tomorrow. He can't come today. I'm going to stay over here because right now the traffic is super, super bad. So I'm going to stay overnight. Uh, I need to resolve this, you know, solve this problem. But I think it's the timing. The, the, the engine is not exactly finely tuned. That's kind of weird that this carburetor, which is in very good shape, it's not new, but it's better than the other one and it's doing the same thing. Not a lot, but it's doing the same thing and it's bugging down and it won't start and then it gave me a poof in my face. Didn't like that. So I'm going to leave it alone. I already packed everything and put it away until tomorrow. Um, you're gonna come around three, so I got other things to do tomorrow, but let's see what happens. It, it has to be something with the timing. Something with the timing. The spark plugs are new, the cables are good, the rotor is new. I just don't see anything else causing that backfiring like that. All right, uh, later. Well, guys, I came to the boat have an appointment with a mechanic uh, to see if we can tune the engine and stop the backfiring and I'm just going to have a cigar for my selection here so I have a Romeo and Juliet I already have one of those uh, these are the um, Davidoff it's pretty good little small one uh, then I have a Camacho that's a three hour cigar. <laughs> and this is a Romeo and Juliet uh, dark one. And uh, here's another H up one. These are, these are good, fairly good. And this is my last Gorka, and I think I'll smoke this one. This here. And over here, I don't need a humidor because there's so much humidity in the boat that. Just keep it here in the uh, in the restroom, and they're good to go. So I left the message on this guy. I said, "Don't forget, I'm here waiting." I just got here, three o'clock or so, three fifteen. So the carburetor was backfiring. I left it on. I didn't take it off, and I'm kind of disappointed. I, I thought it was going to start, but it's got to be the timing. Now, let me ask you this, if you guys probably know this. I I had the the wiring in the wrong order and the engine started sounding weird clunking and, you know, you know. And it it it, it was ex, uh, going through the exhaust, but it was really uh doing it uh, very powerful. Could it could it done some damage inside the engine? with the um i don't think that the the flywheel is, it, the whole function is up and down could it damage the crank maybe the cam could it damage the valves so it, it it's it's backfiring and overflowing so maybe there's some pressure being pushed out of the engine into the carb and it's making the gas overflow up I don't know I'm just taking a guess at this because I don't know what else to to think about I don't know what else it could uh, it could be so if you guys know uh, if, if there could be some damage uh, let me know in the comment section and because if that's the case that means I have to pull out the block and I'm not doing that this year. I got too much stuff going on. Way too much stuff going on. 
It's gonna have to be done maybe uh, the beginning of February. I haven't even prepped for hunting. That's how uh, busy with the boat and I was doing things on the patio and then my mom's back in the hospital and now she's in therapy and now she can't drive the car so now I gotta get rid of the car and the car needs repair and you know it's one thing after another I just went over there today and wanted to see how the car was and I washed it and I drove it and it needs an alignment and it needs um, uh, it's got a banged up fender and I gotta get that fixed and it needs a smog if I want to sell it. So I'm busy with some of the different things that has nothing to do with hunting. And then the boat, it has me really worried. I want to get this boat running, at least if I'm not, even if I don't go out for the rest of the year, I just want to make sure the boat is running. Hmm. Very nice, very good flavor. Yeah, Gurkha. Let me see if it has anything else. Legend. Yeah, it's not bad. All right. I even brought my timing gun. I got a nice a friend of mine that passed away. He was a mechanic. He was a real mechanic. And he gave me this... Uh, he gave me some other tools, but this is the one that's really, let me see. It's a inductive, it's a Sears tuning light. So, I'm going to see if the guy wants to use it. Let's see if he wants to use it. And I can show it to him and see what you know, he wants to do. I got too much stuff going on. I, I gotta finish. I gotta finish something. Preferably the boat. Uh, oh, I installed also. I installed the new float for the tank, but for some reason, it's not changed the reading. So I gotta look into that. And I had a broken hinge on the hatch back there, and I I replaced it also. So there's always something. All right, later. I'm gonna wait for this guy.